Good morning and welcome to BTV, where we cover news for the students, by the students. I'm Jay Kennedy. And I'm Valeria Benitez, here with Becton's December Monthly News Report. I hope everyone has begun their holiday shopping, but in case you haven't, Becton's students are fundraising for the junior-senior prom. See Ms. Colosso, Ms. Pullman, or a Becton junior or senior to purchase a crock charm or Mrs. Fields cookies. If you're feeling lucky, your raffle tickets are being sold in the main office for the Matthew Dickman Scholarship and Thomas Tiny Haynes Scholarship. The winners will win one or two bit baskets filled with holiday throw pillows, blankets, and so much more to keep you or a loved one warm and toasty this holiday season. This holiday season, the Girls Helping Girls Club will be partnering with Gracie's Army Foundation to give back to a family in need. The foundation was started by an MJ family, the Furluge family, in honor of their daughter Gracie, who was diagnosed with neuroblastoma two years ago at the age of six. Gracie, who is now cancer-free and her parents are working to help another little girl, Charlotte, who is going through the same treatments, and Girls Helping Girls is helping too. The club members made holiday cards and assembled a crafting gift basket to give to Charlotte to brighten her spirits. If you are still looking to help, you can make your own monetary donation to Venmo at Gracie's Army Foundation. 100% of the funds go to the families in need of the sources. You can include Becton Girls Helping Girls Club when donating. The National Honor Society is also spreading holiday cheer with the Grinch Grams. Students can see National Honor Society members during lunch to purchase each for a dollar. Grams will be sold until December 18th and proceeds benefit the organization. So buy one today and may your hearts be as warm as the Who's and your holidays Grinch free. Your nearly famous Becton debate team attended the 30th Yale University Model Congress in New Haven, Connecticut. Seven Becton delegates passed their bills in committee. Delegate Joe Lepitan won for best legislation in his committee, Senate Foreign Relations. Delegate Marissa Sclafani won honorable mention best in committee for the House Select Committee on Artificial Intelligence. Marissa also earned honorable mention in her full House session. Over 750 students from across the country participated in the four-day federal government simulation. Congratulations and good luck in your upcoming debates. Has anyone else noticed a sudden drop in temperature this week? I know, I need to take out my winter jacket, hat, and gloves. Let's head over to Kaylin for this month's weather report. Well, I'm glad to hear I'm not the only one braving the cold. Conditions in northern New Jersey are just starting to get frosty. Let's take a look at the weeks ahead. Winds are moving in from the north, causing a strong winter chill. Temperatures are dropping into the low 40s and mid 30s, and we have a strong chance of some flurries and possibly a mix of rain and snow, causing some slippery conditions. So you definitely want to be careful on the drive to school. Hopefully we got lucky and wake up to snow on Christmas morning. That's going to do it for this month's weather report. I'm Kaylin Manzo. Now we send it over to Anthony Bravo with sports. The winter sport season is officially underway. Teams have been practicing since before Thanksgiving and scrimmaging and winning to get ready for another competitive Wildcats season. Most teams have been getting ready for the upcoming holiday tournaments that will be held the week school is closed. The wrestling and girls and boys basketball teams will be competing in the varsity holiday tournaments and the winter track team will be running in the varsity spike shoe holiday festival and the Varsity Holiday Relay Carnival. We want to wish all those competing the best of luck and go Wildcats. That's gonna do it for this month's sports update and we will have more stats in the new year. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Anthony. Now it's time to showcase this month's teacher feature, Mr. Capo Bianco, and December Student of the Month, Christian Perez. This school year, we want to give a warm welcome to Mr. Calvin Bianco, the new special education teacher. Let's give some more insight on Beckton's new staff member. So far, everything's been great. The staff has been very friendly and very helpful. Uh, the students have been great, and you know, it's been a good time getting to know everybody so far. I've been teaching for eight years. Uh, this is my first year teaching high school. I was in North Arlington Middle School for seven years before this. 
right out of high school, I started coaching, and I knew then that to be a coach, I'd have to be a teacher. So, you know, the two kind of go hand in hand. You know, they're very similar. So I, I really enjoyed coaching, and you know, teaching was very similar to that. I try to find their interests. You know what they, you know if it's music, if it's sports, if it's art. Just try to build lessons around what they like. So if they're interested in something, they're going to be willing to learn something. Uh, the first thing I tell my students uh, every school year is, don't be afraid of failure. You know, fail stands for your first attempt in learning. So. You might see failure as a bad thing, but I see it as a good thing. It's, 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 a, it's a way for you to grow as a person, as a student, and you know it's something that you can use to benefit you in the long term. Hi, I'm Christian Perez, and I'm grateful to be December's Student of the Month. Today, I want to share with you five facts about myself. At Becton, I've been a member of Becton's nearly famous debate team, Boys Varsity Tennis, Student Council, National Honor Society, Mu Alpha Theta, Spanish Honor Society, Key Club, Environmental Club, Images Magazine Club, Multicultural Club, and many more. When I'm outside of school, I enjoy relaxing by working on photography projects, developing content creation for my podcast, or simply going out with friends to try new restaurants. After high school, I am planning on going to a college or university on the East Coast or West Coast region. I plan on studying for my undergraduate in business with a concentration in economics and finance while minoring in political science. Afterward, I would try and get into law school to be a lawyer and open a law firm. Most likely, I would like to reside near family on the East Coast or near wherever I go to college. My favorite high school memory would have to be my senior year National Honor Society induction ceremony. The reason I enjoyed the ceremony so much is that I was able to see all my hard work throughout my four years at Becton come full circle. As president, I was able to lead all new inductees and my friends throughout the ceremony while being cheered on. It was a night to remember. What I will miss most about high school is all the friendships and people that shaped the person I am today. All of my friends I have made throughout my time at Becton have been incredibly supportive. As this chapter of our lives is coming to an end, I know all these amazing people will move on to become successful individuals making a mark on this world. If I could offer one piece of advice to underclassmen, it would be to do what you want. Don't let others' opinions dictate your choices. Take risks. Build the connections you desire and don't falter when challenges arise. Push through those tough moments. They'll shape you into a stronger, more resilient version of yourself. It's about staying true to your ambitions and persevering, no matter the obstacles. Trust, in this process, it's what cultivates you to be your best self. I'm Christian Perez, and thanks for choosing me as December's Student of the Month. The annual hallway decorating contest began at the beginning of the month, and the study periods have been hard at work tuning the holes of Becton into a winter wonderland. This year's theme is holiday movies, and the winning study period will be announced at this year's winter pep rally and win a pizza party. Good luck, everyone, and may the best study period win. The Holiday Spirit Week will kick off the last week of school prior to the break. Check out Twitter and posters around the school for the spirit schedule. This week will end with a performance by the Garden State Ballet and the winner pep rally will recognize the winter sports teams. The crowning of Mr. and Mrs. Wildcat and Teacher and Education Professional of the Year. Well, back then, that's going to do it for this month's news report. The Beckton community would like to extend a heartfelt Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and a Happy Kwanzaa to all those who celebrate. Have a joyous and relaxing holiday break, and we will see you again in 2024. I'm Valeria Benitez. And I'm Jay Kennedy. Stay connected with us on social media and our school website for the latest news and updates. And tune in next month and have a dazzling December, Beckton.